We're on. Here we go. Now y'all seen me cut the legs in the last one. Hey, drumsticks. I have a little them in. Let me get it turned around, Piggy, so they can see what you're doing there. There we go. Look at that. Y'all just seen Piggy's Maggie de messy desk over, over there. He got messy, all messy. Messy, messy. I can't say much, y'all. My desk ain't much better. Playing the bongos. Maybe she fight bongo. Piggy likes his drums, y'all. Hey. I was section leader and drum solo, snare solo in high school, about two and a half, three years. One year, I had a stick get away from me. Four beats before the solo. I kicked mine. That solo was hard with two hands. That stick went flying. We had done a push, bring the drums up to the opposing teams, the home teams, bleachers. There I was, but only one stick to do the solo. I pulled it off. You missing a foot? Or a cap? Missing a cap. Now, that's about that part of it. Oh Lord, here we go. It, it fell apart. Part of it fell apart. I'll have to be aware of that. Oh man. The leg fell off. Lieutenant Dan, you lost your leg. <laughs> I guess that's what this thing's gonna be called now. Oh Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Well, it's gives it something to be called other than Piggy's project, fell project. Now, it's Lieutenant Dan. Hey, Lieutenant Dan is standing up. Piggy's going to have to move it over so we can see it. Pretty much. Okay, let me loosen this so I can up and down here. I got to go up scope to the top. Now, now we'll go down scope to see it sitting there. What I'm going to do is Cut this down where I can put it in there. Yeah. What I need to see too. He put it down before I could even get it. Y'all can see what he was doing. This piece right here. It's going to go in there. It's going to go in there. Yeah. I got measure, cut, and put it in. Measure twice, thrice, cut once. In Piggy's case, you might want to measure ten times. And then make sure. Okay. Even that was right. Right at an inch and a half. I need an inch and a half. Inch and a half. That's three inches. That's three inches. That is 17 and a quarter. So 20 and a quarter. The pen. Let me yeah, get it. Here comes the street cart. Let me go up scope here. Well, uh, I would say take one of them off, put the put it on one end or whatever. Still gonna have to 
but would it would not work if you took both ends off and put them on that and then set them down on that? Folks, y'all see. Not exactly easy to get off, is it? How much better her mind works than mine does. She's right. That would work a whole lot better. Scott, you remember that when you want to tell you something. That's gonna be a snug tip, but that's fine. That's the way it's gotta work. It's always gotta be snug. Yeah. There. Now, it can be used where it is intended to be. I see it. Now, y'all hang on a second. Piggy might actually tell you what it is now. It's gonna work. That's it. Now, y'all see this big uh, skein of yarn right here, right? Yep. So we spent a lot of time crocheting. For all that time, roll this yarn out, get it rolled up into a ball. Turn that a little bit so they can see that when you get started. There you go. And then when you get it rolled up into a ball or whatever, then you have to roll some out, do a little crochet. Well, what I do is I just take and pull it straight out from this end, out from the center. It comes out a whole lot better, a whole lot easier. But still, it could be better. So, what maybe you want to do. Take this yarn. It might still take a little while to get a whole skein of yarn on here, especially. But you kind of get the idea. Once it's done, I'll have a whole skein of yarn on there. And since this pull needle slides real easy across that PVC. When I'm crocheting, I can just pull out however much I need at time to keep it a little slack. And the rest of it is up out of the way and I don't get those snags or tangles or anything like that. I already took care of that by putting it over here. And the kitty cats don't knock it off. There is that. Because they like to get on my table, get in the way of my doing my work. And when that happens, it's very inconvenient. As some of y'all can imagine. So we'll take a break and I'm going to roll this on here. Y'all can see it on there. Okay. Well, this is the piggy. Here's my little yarn thing. I put them pull noodles on it. They work, but they don't work as well as I want to. I'm, I had to do it like this right here. That takes a while. What I'm going to do, I got me a bunch of these. Let me. Okay. Little spools. I should be able to put three across here. They're going to give me three parts. I might replace the PVC with wooden dials or it might roll better. Or. I'm going to take drill holes on the other side of these teeth and divide the handle. That way I can sit there and if I have to 
put a little screw in them spools to hold it to the PVC. Have a handle there. Sit there and crank that sucker. It won't take no time. <laughs> Later on, I may take put me a system where I've got me a little island up here where whatever number of threads I'm using and go through that island. They're all together by the time they get to me. That way everything roll easy, come right off, easy to load up. And I may do some other adjustments to it later on. I might put me a third or fourth cross member for more and just have me a basically a krill rack. This is based off of a krill rack for a feeding machine in junction plants. Kinda. A little stretch of the imagination to <laughs> that. But anyway, that's what it is. I took the short legs, short short segment off, because this is as high as I need it. Now if I want to put it up here on my table, I can take these segments out, put those short segments in, good to go. Mm -hmm. Well, that's where she stands. That's all for now.